First thing tonight, Chicago police take a huge bite out of gang crime. That's right. Special undercover teams arrested about three dozen g alleged gang members. The sting centered on an especially violent area of the Little Village neighborhood on the southwest side. CBS 2's Rafael Romo joins us live from the neighborhood. And, Rafael, police say they believe these rival gangs are responsible for more than a dozen murders in the past year. That's right, John. There were 18 homicides last year linked to these gangs, 15 of which were um, here in Little Village, happened here in Little Village. These alleged gang members were also responsible for shootings, drug deals, and also all kinds of vandalism that terrorized the community. But this is not the end. Chicago police say the 38 suspected gang members arrested in the Little Village neighborhood were dealing large quantities of heroin, cocaine, and other drugs. This is pure and simple organized crime. Make no mistake, this is not a nickel and dime operation. In fact, police say the operation that involved the Latin Kings and the two Sixer Street gangs netted around $12 million a year in drug sales. These men and women that go after the young, that walk around with guns, that destroy the working fabric of our neighborhoods will not be tolerated. Undercover police officers infiltrated the gangs in Little Village in an operation called 26th Street that lasted 11 months. Residents and business owners hope the arrests will lead to a reduction in homicides, shootings and vandalism. It's costly for, for the business community. It's, it's something that we, we, we do not want and we hope that it, you know they, they continue programs like this to help out the business community. Police called the suspects urban terrorists who were taking hostage the entire community. I mean, people don't feel safe because we have to be careful where we walk, like not to be passing Hamlin or stuff like that. Chicago police also confiscated several properties and cars as well as 75 pounds of drugs and weapons. John and Marianne, Chicago police say as temperatures go up, so does the crime in the city and they want to make sure they disrupt street violence before it begins. And hopefully the streets are a little safer tonight. Thanks, Raphael.